What's up guys? Welcome to this month's favorites video. I'm going to be sharing all the things that I've been loving all month long. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. So first and foremost, I have just been really, really loving this moisturizer. This is the Honest Beauty Hydro Gel Cream. I showed this in my makeup haul that I recently posted. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I love it. It's very unique. It goes on very, very thick in consistency, but as I blend it out, it disappears into like a straight up water cream. It feels like I'm just like blending water on my face, which is perfect because I do have more oily skin, especially in the summertime. So at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this because my initial reaction was that it was extremely thick, but then as I kept blending it out, then it changed consistency and I was like, what's happening here with this moisturizer. So it's very unique. I highly recommend it. I feel like even if you have dry skin, you would you would still like this. I mainly got this because I was, uh, I'm about halfway through on one of my, my like bougie moisturizers and I wanted something that was number one, more reasonably priced, but number two, something that was also low on the EWG scale. So this is actually EWG certified and I've tried other products from Honest before and I really, really love them. So now this has also made that list. So I've been loving this. I'm excited to have a new moisturizer that kind of like hits all of those, uh, requirements that I was looking for. Another Honest Beauty product that I've been really loving again is the Honest Beauty Everything Primer. This I've used before and loved it and kind of forgot about it. Started using it a lot more again recently and I just love it. I have it on right now underneath my makeup and it's something that I feel like I can even wear when I'm not wearing makeup because it does have that like golden bronzy glow to the skin. It looks so beautiful. Again, EWG certified, I believe. And it also helps with my makeup lasting as well. So really, really love this. I have two mascaras. I showed this in my haul too. These are nothing new, but I haven't had like fresh ones in a while. Um, this is the MAC Extended Play Mascara and then the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. You guys know I use this all the time, but I feel like I never show this in a favorites video just because I feel like you know it's a favorite, but I felt like it was time to like put it in a favorites video because it's probably been years since I have. So just a reminder, this is like my favorite mascara ever, um, other than the Makeup Geek one that you can't get anymore, unfortunately, um, but then also the MAC Extended Play Mascara for the lower lashes. I haven't had like a new fresh one of this in like over a year, maybe two years. So it was about time to replenish this. And I have, it was so nice to use it again because it's been so long since I have and it was like, Yes, this is why I love this so much. I'm able to get every single lash without getting it all over the place because even though I love this mascara, the Lash Paradise, it's amazing for the top lashes and I can use it for the bottom, but it just doesn't do what I want it to do for the bottom lashes. I want something that's gonna get every single one and almost look like spider legs in the best way possible, but this can sometimes get like on my skin underneath my lash and that I'm not a fan of that. So these two together are just my favorite. They're the best little combo ever. Another random product that I feel like I don't mention a lot, but I have been really loving is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I have been using this in conjunction with any other brow pencil. So what I like to do is fill in my brows almost all the way, but not quite. And then I'll go in with this because this almost looks like it's a liquid liner for like for like doing winged liner, but it's a brow pen. So I'll go in and do little hair like strokes through my brows to give a little bit more pigment where I need more pigment. So like for instance, right up here on the front of the brow where I have like no brow hair. So this will give me the fake brow hair and then I can go in with a spoolie and buff it out and it looks so natural. It does the job where I need the extra TLC. So I've been loving this. What color do I have? I have ash brown and it's the perfect shade. Careful though, it can go on very pigmented. So you wanna make sure that you like kind of brush some of it off if you need to right at the beginning and then go in with it. Um, unless you have darker hair or you need a lot more of it, then you can go straight away into it. But um, just keep that in mind when you're trying something out like this. The next thing that I've been loving is the Pillow Talk Blur Airbrush Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. I got this at the event that I was invited to with Charlotte Tilbury in the city, and they were promoting their new airbrush lip blur. And 
this color specifically, this is Pillow Talk, and it looks like it's gonna be a liquid lipstick, but it's not. It goes on and feels like a wet liquid lipstick, but then it dries down to kind of like a creamy lip balm, but is full pigment. It's like a very creamy lipstick but very moisturizing like a lip balm. It's very unique. I haven't tried any product that's like this and I'm obsessed with it. It kind of just feels like a cloud is on your lips. Um, it's cool they had like a person engraving at the event and I got my name uh, engraved on the lipstick, which is really cool and very special. So I've been really loving this. They have a bunch of different shades. Pillow Talk is just so classic and it's the one that I've been using a lot recently, but you're definitely gonna be seeing me use more of the other shades coming up in future videos. It's awesome and very unique. This is also something that I use all the time, but I feel like I don't really talk about it in favorites videos very much. At least I don't think so. I can't remember the last time I ever mentioned this in favorites video, but it's my fan that I use when I use my setting spray. I started using a fan about a year ago, maybe two years ago, and when I set my face with the setting spray, it's nice to then go in with a fan because it just lightly fans it into the skin and it dries so much faster, and I feel like it also helps to dry more evenly. It's such a random thing to use in my makeup routine, but I feel like it really does make a difference, especially with it just like drying down faster. Um, I think too, for whatever reason, I feel like it, Maybe this is just in my head, but because it dries down faster, I feel like I'm not so oily. I doubt that has any correlation. I think it's just in my head that that's how it feels. But I've been loving this. This is from Patrick Ta. It's like rose gold. You can use any fan, but this is the one that I've been using. And anytime I use it, I get questions about it. So just thought that I would share because I have been loving it for a long time. The next thing I have here, I feel like I've shared recently, but I just need to share it again. And it's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I have been trying to go longer without washing my hair. Exhibit A. Um, I am on like day four or five. I'm like very, very oily today, but I used this and I just love it. It helps to absorb the oil in my hair. It helps to make it look fresher. I was gonna say super fresh, but I don't think this looks super fresh, but it's doable. I can at least go out and about with my hair like this, even though it's slicked to my head still. I love the smell. I used to actually hate the smell because when I worked at Sephora, I smelled this every single day because everyone would try the dry shampoo. So I just feel like this reminded me of Sephora. And for a long time, I didn't like that smell because of that. But now that I haven't worked in retail for so long, this just actually gives me more nostalgic vibes. So I love using this. Also, there was something going around about like dry shampoo ingredients. I forgot what ingredient it was that everyone was like freaking out about, but this doesn't have that. I don't, I don't know, but works great. Love it. I feel like I shared it recently, but I had to share it again. I believe that that is all of the makeup stuff. Let's move on to some other things. This is so random, so random, but I have been obsessed, obsessed with the new Kimade by Alani. I don't know if it's Alani New or just Alani or Alani Nutrition. It's Katie Hearn's brand. They so kindly put me on their PR list about, I think it was two years ago, maybe it was last year. A lot of times products like this will actually really upset my stomach. And I don't know if it's because I haven't been eating the healthiest lately. So my stomach isn't as sensitive to ingredients or if this is just special and doesn't upset my stomach, but this hasn't been bloating me, it hasn't been upsetting my stomach, and I love the way that it tastes. So this has zero sugar, um, it's gluten-free, it has biotin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, all the things. It's, it's just like a crazy caffeinated energy drink. I feel like I'm not very sensitive to caffeine or maybe my tolerance is just up. I don't get like the jitters or anything from it, but I've just been obsessed with these. I've been drinking one either every day or every other day since they sent this and I'm, I'm just obsessed. I've been on a Zevia kick for a while and they are rebranding. So the Zevia Cola that I always get has been sold out and they haven't restocked it. I think because they are getting in the new branding, which the new branding sucks. So that's unfortunate, but because they've been out of stock, this has been such a nice little replacement. I probably should be drinking more water, not energy drinks, but here we are. If you like this kind of stuff, 
you will love this. My next favorite thing that I have been really, really loving is my bookshelf. I will put a video clip over me talking so you can see what it looks like, but I got this from the container store at the beginning of the year and then I never built the shelf. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it in my home. I found this little spot in my living room that I thought would be perfect and I think it's so cute. It just displays all of my books and it kind of just like made the space a little bit cozier and a little bit more homey and I feel like it's I feel like it's been encouraging me to read because I can see all of the books that I own there. A lot of those books I actually haven't even read. Some of them I have and it's just inspiring me to just get off my phone, stay off the TV and read a book. So um, it was so easy to put together. It put, took me like maybe 10 minutes to put together. And I just think it looks really, really nice. It's modern, sleek. It looks like the books are just floating and I have just been loving it. So I'll link it down below along with everything else. Speaking of books, I thought I'd share what I'm currently reading. So I have mentioned it. I think it was in the podcast that I just posted last. That's also a video. By the way, I, I video recorded the podcast this week and I think that I will try to continue doing that. I think it's a lot more interesting to watch if you are more video of a video person. A lot of times, even if it's a video podcast or like a video get ready with me, I'll put it on while I'm like doing other things in the house. Um, but then I'll randomly like look to check in and see the video too. So even if I'm not like fully watching the video all the time, it's nice to just have it as an option. So I'm going to attempt to keep doing that but so I think I mentioned it in the podcast episode but I have been listening to Dopamine Nation by Anna Lemke and basically this whole book three-fourths of the way through I only have a little bit left of it um, I'm listening to it not physically reading it the whole book is about addiction and how dopamine works in the body and a lot of it is talking about um, either alcohol addiction, drug addiction, porn addiction, sex addiction, and social media addiction, and how they're all kind of like wired similarly, or not even similarly, it's wired the same exact way. It talks about how like the pain and the pleasure um, in the brain are actually located in the same spot. Um, and I'm just learning a lot about social media addiction and dopamine and how all of that works. And I feel like, I don't know, I've just learned learned a lot. So I highly recommend that. I'll also list some podcast episodes and things down below that kind of helped me learn more about this as well. And um, helped me make the decision to get off my phone a little bit more. I'm already feeling a lot more relaxed. I'm gonna implement what I am right now for the next 30 days. And then after that, I'm gonna reassess and see if I can like implement things a little bit more. I have felt, um, and I am only on like the second week of it, but I feel like I'm wanting to be on Instagram more. Like I'm not feeling, like I'm feeling peace from being off of it, but I am feeling like, oh, but I do wanna share. So maybe that's a good thing. We'll reassess and see uh, where I stand after that, but just taking the break has been feeling really, really good. And I feel a lot more creative for YouTube and just more excited to show up more. You know what I mean? The other thing that I just started reading, I'm not very far into it, but I just thought that I would give you an update on what I'm reading. Um, in case you missed the podcast episode is, um, I've been reading The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I just started it though. Let me know if you wanna book some makeup looks on this. I feel like this is gonna be a doozy because I loved The House Across the Lake. That is a book that Riley Sager wrote and I, love that book. It took me for a wild ride. And um, that's one that I actually might reread this season. And I could totally see myself doing a books and makeup looks video on that because whew, that is a wild ride. So um, I just want to give you an update on what I'm reading. I'm only like a couple pages in, so I can't give you much of an update on it, but I just wanted to share in case you're curious what I'm reading. Another very random thing that I've been loving is this candle from Bath and Body Works or white barn, whatever. Um, it's fresh cut lilacs. For Christmas, my niece actually gave me a candle. It was the fresh cut lilacs candle. It's the perfect summer scent. It smells so good. It smells like fresh cut lilacs and it just smells up the whole main floor of my house. It smells amazing and it just smells so good. And um, I thought I'd share because I bet you guys would like it too, even though as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna start up my fall candles because I don't care. Um, but if you're normal, <laughs> not a fall freak like me, you will probably still like this through the month of August and September. I almost forgot to share one more favorite and it's my earrings. So let me zoom, zoom in so you can see. 
Um, I was going through my jewelry collection and I totally forgot about these. Or maybe it's not necessarily that I forgot, but I just feel like stud earrings, kind of like they're classic and timeless and they'll always be in style, but I just feel like gold hoops, like little hoops have just like been in style mainly the last few years. Well, anyway, I saw these in my drawer and I totally forgot that they were like there. And I just feel like they're such classic studs. So these I believe are from Kate Spade and I've been wearing them a lot recently and I just feel so like just girly and I love them and they go with anything and I just feel like they're really pretty and I feel like just they're just very pretty and classic so I thought that I would share them because I feel like they're also not too crazy priced either I feel like they look like diamond earrings but they're not they're just little rhinestones and I like them. Okay, I wanted to finish out this video with sharing some of the podcasts that I really love. I get asked this question all the time and I thought that I would just share my list of podcasts that I listen to all the time. So I made a little list here. Um, the first one is The Skinny Confidential, Him and Her Show. It is with Lauren and Michael Bostick. That's probably my favorite one that I listen to a lot. I think because they just have so many different people on their podcast from all walks of life and that is the most interesting to me. I think it's really responsible to learn about different things that you normally wouldn't have learned about. I think it's good to hear different opinions. I think it's good to hear opinions that are different from your own. You can just think more for yourself by hearing more of what other people think. They have so many different people on that talk about a lot of different things. So I really love that podcast. I love On Purpose with Jay Shetty. He, I think used to be a monk. He just has a lot of of really good insight and a lot of good like mindset things and I just really love checking it especially like first thing in the morning his podcast is one that I really enjoy listening to love the Ed Milet podcast love Mel Robbins um, both of them have like very like motivational podcasts that like help with mindset and just like progressing in life type of things love with wit it's with uh, Whitney Port I especially love the episodes that she does with her husband I think once a month they do this where they like check in I don't know if it's once a month or once a week they do like a a check-in where they talk about like what they're working on together, what their goals are. And it's just kind of like a little husband wife chit chat. And I enjoy hearing that. Um, another husband wife duo that I really love is Makeup by Tiffany D's podcast with her husband, Brad. They are on Patreon. So you can't access it through like your normal, just like Apple podcasts and Spotify. I paid the subscription and then it shows up in my normal podcast, but I love their show because again, it's just like a weekly chit chat with um, Tiffany and her husband and it's just fun. It's always, you never know what you're gonna get, which I really love. It's kind of like my comfort podcast. I can listen to it anytime and just hear what they're chatting about and I just, I love it. I recently found Coffee Talks with Kaylin. That podcast is by Kaylin Nicholson. She has a vlog channel and then she has her podcast channel and she just has a really good, um, just like vibe and energy about her and she has like really good just like mindset things if there's a common theme here i like a lot of like wellness and mindset type of podcasts so i feel like she gives a lot of good tips and tricks in that area also love the what we said podcast with chelsea and jc it's kind of like a girl chat podcast they're a little bit younger than me though so a lot of times when they're referring to stuff i like can't relate but it's fun to listen to and it just feels like i'm just hanging out with friends and then i also really love the blonde files podcast that is with ariel Lori. hers is also similar to the skinny confidential but a little bit more wellnessy and yeah just all of those podcasts are what i listen to on a weekly basis either while i'm cleaning while i'm driving even when i'm working out oh i also listen to mind pump um that's like a fitness podcast but they also talk about current events i haven't listened to them in a while but they i like to listen to when i'm working out because it I feel like I'm getting like fitness information while I'm working out. But yeah, I get asked all the time what podcasts I listen to and those are ones that I listen to either regularly or I always go back to. Sometimes there will be times where I don't listen to the podcasts as often or as frequently, but those are ones that I definitely keep going back to. So I hope you liked seeing what my list is. If there's anything that you think that I would like as far as podcasts go, please put them down below because I'm always looking for another podcast to listen to, another good chit chat. There's other ones that are kind of like girl talk ones 
questions, let me know. I have listened to Crime Junkie, but I find that I need a little bit of a break from true crime stuff. I don't like to listen to that all the time, but if I was gonna listen to it, it would be Crime Junkie, but yeah. That is everything for my July favorites. Let me know down below in the comments what you've been loving all month long. Also, I did record a tutorial on this makeup look. It is a fall one, but I did wear this more like summery shirt today just to show you that you can still wear fall makeup in the summer and look very summery. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.